Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our Netherlands campaign in Victoria 3. Glorious, we are back here. Fantastic, I can't wait. I'm sorry it's taken so long, guys, but I've had a month of being pretty much ill through the whole month. So it's taken me a while, and I sounded horrible. So you would not have liked to have listened to me playing this game while I've been ill. Uh, but... We are going to continue building quite slowly at the minute, but we're going to look at trying to come into Asia through Johor, I believe. We shall have a look at that in a second. First things first, we are trying to annex Congo. I'm hoping they'll back down, uh, and we're going to continue our colonization down this way as well, and I think we will establish a colony here. Quite annoying that the British have their colony here that's kind of blocking us off from this area, which is really, really annoying. But oh well, uh, we shall let them have a little bit of a uh, advantage for now. Uh, second thing, we're going to put that as a declared interest over here in Siam and Johor, and we'll wait for that to tick in. Ah, you see, Congo has uh, has gone, so we can uh, start colonizing this. I know it's going to take so long. But the technology we are getting after philosophical uh, pragmatism, we're going to definitely move straight down to malaria prevention. I know it's 12 years to research and it seems a bit obscene, but that huge bonus ahead of our rivals should really help. We also need... Uh, we are getting more government administration. We need a positive bureaucracy to keep this institution ticking over. So... These government administrations are really going to come in handy. As you can see. We have input go shortage of, of glass and silk at the minute. Glass, more glass. And I'm assuming that's the same. Glass and silk. Oh, interesting. What are we currently building? Let's look at our balances. Furniture and grain are massive problems. So is silk and tobacco. Paper, luxury clothes... Uh, artillery as well, really. Hmm. How are our tools doing? Because I want our tools to be nice and cheap. Yeah, our tools are doing well. So I might build a few more tooling stations just to make them even cheaper. Ah, uh, we are doing. We are doing fantastic. That is great to see. Uh, and then we're building the ports, then railways, then some paper mills, then glassworks, which will be good. Shipyards, rye farms, that should give us some grain, right? Fruit and grain, cool. Furniture, then some more that paper, then some more textiles. I mean, the textiles don't really help unless we can get some extra silk. We are trying for private health insurance, which is fine. That'll be good. Allow us to get our people healthy. Now, one of our major blockers right now is our just lack uh, overall of population. And by taking some of these lands down here, you can see uh, if we look at the population... 476k. That's a significant increase. Ideally, I actually would like to take Tonkin up here and Anam at some point. But we need um, a kind of um, a land uh, border on here so that we can come through Siam. I'm thinking of puppeting Siam. But first things first, let us have a look at conquering Johor. I, I hope the uh, the British don't join. If they do, we will back down. Great Ching could also join. Uh, yeah. So they could also join. But our infamy is so low right now. It's only 11 after we've uh, put that state conquest in. It's going to be a bit annoying having Britain right next to us here. But it's fine. We shall see. We shall see what happens. I don't believe we can get any more... Uh, Conquer West Java. Wait, the Dutch East Indies is supporting them. What? How does that work, bro? That doesn't make any sense. What the hell? <laughs> Why would they be supporting them? They're my... They're my dominion. That's so weird. 
just pause for a second. And who's supporting them now? France. I mean, France is getting absolutely bagged on by Britain, so I'm not too bothered by that. But we could potentially look to try and take some French states. Um, ideally, Volta would be the best one. Conquer Volta. 27 infamy for that. We'll go for it. We'll go for it. We've got to go for it. We've got low infamy right now. We've probably gone up to Notorious, though, right now. Um, that's a bit of a problem, but... God damn Dutch East Indies. I don't know why. <laughs> why do you want to fight me? I am your overlord. Surely that shouldn't happen. I, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Population is growing quite a lot. Not many loyalists, as you can see. Our economy has been growing quite significantly, which is fantastic. Great to see. Um, and we're expanding our government administration. Tooling workshops in Galway getting, uh, getting made now, which is fantastic. Yeah, I think this is going to go to war. I don't think they're going to back down. Who can I sway? Let's sway Britain. All right, we'll use our stuff to offer Britain an obligation. Not the Siamese market. I'm trying to press on this. Anything else? No. Come on, Britain. Yes, they have joined. They might back down then. They might just back down. Could I move my troops there? Yes, I can. Thank you, Britain. Thank you. Fantastic. Apparently, we're British troops now. <laughs> Interesting. They only have eight troops. Ah, and they back down. Thank you. Fantastic. That's good to see. That's another 500,000 population for us. Um, there's going to be a few more radicals. There's a bit of turmoil over here. Uh, turmoil from radical pops. Yeah, but that's fine. What buildings do they have down here? Livestock, rice, sugar, banana, tea, coffee, logging camps, fishing wharves, ports, barracks. A port's good. That's something we need. Um, now, let's have a look at our infamy. Yeah, it didn't go all the way up because uh, our play on France didn't really work. If I puppet Siam, how much is that infamy-wise? 29. I mean, I think we can afford it. The reason... The reason why... And then I want it... It's, it's going to take a while, but I want to get to China, basically. Because look at this. 12 million people here. And now that we accept uh, most cultures... Like, it doesn't... Like, all cultures. We have multiculturalism. It doesn't matter that there's... That these people will not be of our, our main culture. So we will accept them straight away. And we'd instantly more than double our population if we could get up there somehow. Now. Let's go for this one. We believe these countries may side with the enemy. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now, do we want to conquer any states here? I mean, Siamese, Malaya. That would be nice to have. It's uh, the split state. Hmm. Rice farms. Ideally, I want to conquer somewhere that can, can uh, grow silk, but I don't think any of these can. Have cotton here and opium. Opium would be a good one as well. Can we not build opium here? No. Ah, that's unfortunate. I mean, like, taking this one would be great, but we're not going to do that. It's a bit ridiculous. We'll, we'll just try and puppet them. And I need silk, ideally. The silk over here, down here, there is silk there. Is there silk? There is silk in Siam. Chasing resources right now. Not here, though. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, we can build up their industry as we go along. Can sway Britain again. I think that's what we do. We, we use the might of Britain as our diplomatic weight to slap around. <laughs> that's how we like to do it. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, we have artillery that's expensive. Paper. Importing clothes is unproductive. Right, let's uh, try and sway the big boys. Hmm. 
Offer a regime change of Bali. I mean, <laughs> if that's going to sway Britain to this war, then <laughs> that can be fine. <laughs> it's just down here. Wait, where's, what? Okay, so they have Chiang Mai, all of these. Actually, Chiang Mai. I will add my own war goals based on this. Uh, but not yet. We'll see if anyone else joins. Surely they'll back down with Britain backing me. Uh, we'll uh, mobilize you again, my friend, just in case. Uh, we've got the king intervening in the political process again. <sighs> Trade unions are pretty unhappy. Trade unionists are pretty unhappy. But 20% enactment chance is pretty high. Pretty high. Okay, so it looks like they have someone else. Yeah, they have Great Ching involved. Do you know what? Let's stick a big fat war goal on here. Wait, we can't... Oh, we can't conquer China. Oh. Mm. Any of these that we would like? Uh, I mean, Chiang Mai would be nice, but it, it's just kind of out there. Cotton. They do have opium there, which is great. They won't be able to access our market. That's the problem. What about Cambodia? Is they involved in this? Uh, can we not declare another interest? Oh, we can. Oh, we can. Oh, we can. Please let that come in first. Come in soon. How long does it take to come in? takes a few days, doesn't it? Fang people are going to Ghana. Fantastic. Yes. Oh, no. France has joined now. Ooh. I don't fancy any of France's land right now. If China... If we can get this before China joins. But we'll just wait until we get to the end just to see our full options. Okay. Burma's involved now. We have Britain on our side. A lot of people trying to join their side, but... Okay, Burma's in involved. That might actually be something we want to look at. Might annoy Britain quite a bit. What's Pegu saying? Sugar, tea, opium. There's not going to be silk here. Hmm. But there is opium. That is one thing that will be great. Uh, where is the... Uh, the Beijing Sichuan Front? Ah, yes. Britain's one troop there. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be keeping that, Britain. I'm sorry. 72 troops over there. And uh, one thing, we should just check our military. Make sure we're good. Ah, we don't have skirmish infantry. Why not? Also, probably get the uh, first aid. Mobile artillery. I know it's going to cost us some money. Well, that's fine. We also don't have the best amount of artillery uh, in our market right now. So we should probably look at taking some before we start this war. Uh, making some import routes if we can. Uh, where are you? Artillery. 70 from the British market. Yes, please. Yes, please. We should also probably take some ammunition. 10 from America. And then have we got small arms? Uh, there we are. Take 100 from Prussia. That should help us with this war quite significantly. Market access in Dutch, uh, Dutch Malaya is not good. Let's see. Hoping we can uh, conquer... Add a Chinese... Yes, we can add Chinese ones now. I'm going to add Guangdong. 12 million people live there. How is that in for me? 64. I, yeah, I don't think we can afford to try anything else. We're getting pretty infamous. I'd honestly be quite happy if they just accepted our initial, initial puppeting of Siam. Well, I guess it's... I guess it comes. I guess the war comes, my friend. Hmm. Just us and Britain versus the world. Once again, my friend. Britain. What boyos. What boy is? We could become their protectorate. That would be quite hilarious. Um, all of our little buddies down here should be doing 
decent damage against France. Just because of their overwhelming amounts of troops. Please back down. Please back down, Siam. You know you want to. I don't really want to fight China, but I will if I have to. Ah, well. It's a minus 60% disadvantage. We have 16 average offense. That is terrible. Why is that? Equipment adjustment. Ooh, that is not good. Doesn't tell us how quickly that's going to get solved. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess we'll try. We might even try defending to start with, but we, we'll see whether we can... Uh... So come on, Britain. Get yourself involved. We're going to put it down to speed four. First time for a while. Okay. We're beating them back. 11 defense is just terrible. Terrible. Terrible, I tell you. Oh, they do just have peasants, though. So surely we should win this. Surely, I'm saying right now, but... <laughs> don't know. Okay, Britain's involved... Uh, sorting out this uprising. Oh, not Britain, actually. The British Raj, sorry, should I say. How are we doing over here? Looks like we should be pushing them back, or at least defending. That's the main thing. And... Okay, we could go over there to take that. Just sneak it, but that's fine. Okay, yes. Apparently our offense is less, but we're doing better. I don't know. It's just probably because their, their troops are literally just peasants. Um, poor guys. <laughs> Fighting against our trained infantry, professional army. Well, this is all <laughs> this is all in the quest for silk and opium. Opium and silk. Thousands dead. Tens of thousands just for silk. Okay, who's this? This is our allies. Britain, come on the boys, let's go. Okay, peace treaty over in the British Raj. Cool. Also, I should check. We can establish tip, uh, colonies over here. But it's just too long. Uh, I guess I've done it now. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, oh, well. How is our institution coming along? Again, we've gone down in government administration. So I think, yeah, building wise, our government administration should be up at the top. So, I'm going to build one over here in Malaya. Actually, I'm going to build two. Then we're going to also build another one in Ghana. And in Dahomey, I'm going to build two. And I'm going to place them all to the top of the queue. Our literacy of 51% is pretty good. Uh, because we need... That bureaucracy is the most important thing out of everything we have right now. That is the most important thing. Do you know what I should have done? I should have taken... Okay, Britain. 155 boys. Oh, no. You lost it. That's a slightly annoying. But they should bring that 155 boys down here now. So that's one good thing. And we are winning still. Come on. I'm going to put it back up to speed five. I think we're okay. Okay, the, the trade unionists want a parliamentary republic. Censorship for the armed forces and the evangelicals. Oh, well, they are not getting any of those. Come on, Britain. The boys, 49 offense. Yes. Yes. Come on, Britain. Just literally just saving us right now. Okay. I like to see this. A bit of a shanty. Invading French land. Maybe we should have gone for a bit of French territory. But then again, on the other hand, maybe not. That's probably a good decision not to go for that French territory. Athbaskan, indigenous American people are going to Friesland. Fantastic. More and more people. We just need more. More. 118k peasants. 218 in Holland. And we've got input shortages of everything. Ooh, 26% attrition up here. It's not really something we want. I think... Uh, no, we'll go back to escorting convoys to here. 
Yes. Let's do that. Hopefully our navy doesn't get fully destroyed. But with Britain's navy on the waters, I think we'll be fine. Come on, Britain. You've got this. Surely. Okay, so it looks like the Chinese troops are actually decent. Oh, come on. You've got this. No, you haven't. You've not got it. No. Britain, don't let me down. Okay, our, our, yeah. That's got rid of our... Um... Sorry. Uh, distracted by this event. It's got rid of our... Uh, it did get rid of our attrition for a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go for the extra expenses. It's not too bad. Uh, Britain's lost that one. God, China's got some decent troops, it looks like. Uh, we're losing now as well. Is there anywhere... Uh, it does look like they have a lot of troops, but... I think we'll actually go to try and get a naval invasion. I'm going to try... Problem is with China, is they have so many troops everywhere. But I'm going to try invading up there where they might have less. It's quite a hard thing to do. Come on, Britain. You need to defend me here. Got 183 British troops here. And we're losing this one as well. Ah, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. How are we losing? No! We could try the naval invasion on Siam next. If this doesn't work on China, we'll try on Siam next. Try and cut them off. Probably somewhere in here or maybe Bangkok. I wonder how many troops they've got in reserve. 196,000 servicemen there. Relatively large. How long is this going to take? Three days? Cool. 11 days? <laughs> Come on. Don't take so long, bro. Speed it up. Okay, we've got the naval battle, which we should absolutely crush them. Good. Crush them all. Crush them all. And then we're going to lose that. Okay, that's no problem, to be fair. Chemical bleaching. Cool. We can get bone china. Ironic right now. So their, their war support is going down so quickly. Which is weird because we only have a... Well, we, we do have some of their land, but it's only a tiny bit. And Britain's starting to win back some of this territory. Um, yeah, I don't think we, we, we're going to win that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try and cut them off. Uh, at Bangkok. Might not be the place because of the amount of barracks they have. They've got 24 barracks there. But I'm I'm assuming that most of their troops... Yeah, they're all raised up. So they shouldn't really have anyone to defend. Hopefully. Right, we've done uh, pragmatism. My, more bureaucracy for us, which is great. Uh, and more influence, which is okay. Uh, so, we're going to go for malaria prevention. I know it's a long time, but we really do need that if we want to compete uh, with our colonies over here. Because it just take too long to build. We've got the rubber. Rubber rush. Rubber rush. Cool. Okay, the petty bourgeois. They're incredibly unhappy. So, I'm going to make the industrialists... Slightly unhappy. But they're already very happy, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I really don't care about the landowners. Although they are still quite powerful. Taking them down to minus one is not the greatest thing we could do, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Now, have we got our institution yet? Yes, we have. So our colonies should be going quicker. I mean, it's it's not quickly, is it? But it's quicker, nonetheless. Okay, we are colonizing down this way quite quite quickly. Looks like Argentina's also colonizing. It's definitely somewhere that we uh, we really want to dominate as well. We we generally we want to dominate the world, don't we? But 
Ah, but... Ah, fantastic, fantastic. We have... Uh, we want to advance this front. We're getting beaten back here, though. So they have moved some of their troops. I think we just defend here. We're kind of... Is that Bangkok there? That must be Bangkok. So we have their capital, so... We should just, ideally, once this battle's over, just defend here. Defend this front. And hopefully we get some more British people to come and help us. And it looks like it. It won't let me look at that. Oh, god damn. <laughs> it will be British, though. Ideally. Okay, Britain's going to win this for us. Oh, apparently not. Private health insurance has passed. Fantastic. Apparently, when they're not going to win this with 55 offense. Bro, how not? Well, all we need to do is get them to minus 100. Uh, and we can peace out Siam. And then we can look at doing something with China. I, uh, I'm not really bothered about doing anything with China. Well, France. Could we make peace with you, France? France. Sorry, France. Yeah, no, we can't. I think we'll declare a rivalry for um, Belgium as well while we're, while we're here. No, that is our rival. That's good. That's good. Fantastic. So, yeah, I don't think I don't think Britain wins that, but all it is doing is just destroying their war support so that we can eventually win. How far away? Yeah, minus 82 at the minute. But they should get to zero and then they'll capitulate. Wait, this is close now. Ah, uh, not quite. Britain was defeated. But they are still advancing over this way, which is great. And then we can join up the fronts and we'll have all the troops. All the troops we need. Okay, Britain's in this fight again. Surprise maneuver. Come on, the boys. Let's go. Lots of offense. Yeah, Free Thinking Democratic League, that is the party we want. Disappearing interest in South China. Well, that's sad. But we shall see. I don't... Looking at how we're doing so far, I genuinely don't think we're going to be able to, to jump onto China anytime soon. Um, the regime change in Bali, that's all Britain. I'm not doing anything for that. I do not want to touch that. Okay, they've won this battle quite handily. Well done. Thank you. And they're pushing down here quite quickly. Well, I think we're going to get pushed back here, though. It's only a tiny battle. It's our troops as well. Hmm, I do need to join up these, uh, these lines. That would be quite nice. Okay, more rubber. Fantastic. They're on minus 50 now already. Well, pretty much minus 50. Pretty close to. Wait, it's not ticking down anymore. Yeah, it's not ticking down anymore. We need to go back and take Bangkok if we can. So they either need to push along this way. Yeah, please keep pushing Britain. Just to match us up while we defend over here. Cool. Uh, colonization over this way. We're doing fine. It's just taking so long. Down here. Really, ideally, I would like you to just make a straight line so Argentina can't come through this way. But I know that's not going to happen. Yeah, colonizing over there. Cool. Um... There's Bali. I knew it was down here somewhere. There's Bali. Literally just just those two islands. Britain wants to force a change of their uh, changing of their government from there. I don't know why. <laughs> but okay. You do you, Britain. No one knows your reasons, do they? God, our administrative capacity is is our bureaucracy is really just just collapsing. Not great. Why are we not building? What's going on? I was going to say that didn't look like it was moving then. Keep on coming. It's a thin front now. Look at this city. It's in between both. Oh, that's cool. 
And we do seem to be getting beaten back in uh, the central belt here. We're losing a power rank. Really? Insufficient prestige. Really? After all I've done. After all I've done. Yeah, Britons are smashing them backwards. That's great. We need to go and take uh, take Bangkok, though, again. That is really the aim right now. So keeping these troops here is definitely a good play, even though we're suffering huge attrition. 100% attrition. Really? I guess we don't have a port here anymore. Um, well, I guess he's died as well. Oh, well. Uh, the Ryan HQ, Explorer, Woodland Combat, Bigoted, so no. This guy's an opium addict. Hmm. I don't want that, that lack of influence. It gives more authority, though. I think we'll do that. And then, where are you? You know what? I think we'll go for a naval invasion. Where should we go for, though? I think... Ah, like, Manchuria. Surely we should be able to invade Manchuria. Surely they don't have a huge amount of troops in Manchuria. <laughs> 1.42 million people here, bro. I think they probably will have a huge amount of troops. Sounds about right, doesn't it? But as long as we get this... This puppet off. That's all that really matters. Okay, Britain is smashing its way through. We need to take Bangkok. Come on. Keep on pushing. Get these two fronts together. It's weird because we're getting pushed that way. But they're coming through this way. And they're trying to catch up. Uh, how long have we got? 15 days. 15 days. Cool. Okay, losing that one. Winning this one. Fantastic. Well, I don't think we could have done this without Britain, honestly. <laughs> and we are going to win. We are going to take Siam as a puppet, which will be great. That will be added to our market. All their opium. Um, I don't think they've got a huge amount of opium, but it's definitely more than we have right now. So, uh, yeah, that's all that really matters. Once we've taken Bangkok, I believe they'll back out. And then we'll see. Okay, looks like we didn't manage to take Manchuria. Ah... <sighs> What about a naval invasion onto Taiwan? Barracks? 15 barracks here still. God damn it, bro. It's a lot of barracks. Our amount of loyalists has, has tumbled. Tumbled through the weeds. That is not good. Um, Have I got enough latent to start suppressing you guys? A latent authority? Not quite. Uh, taxes and a greener grass campaign. I really don't think we need that greener grass campaign. I'd rather be getting rid of the landowners. Uh, yeah. Decrees. Greener grass campaign. Get rid of that. Then let's start suppressing. Why can I not suppress them? Interest groups in government. Really? Well, I don't want them in government. It's only 15%. All of these guys want to join the goddamn government. Oh, well. Laws with governmental or movement support. Universal suffrage, free trade, private schools, poor laws. Poor laws are good. Uh, total separation. Yeah, I th I mean, I think that's... I want something that reduces radicals, basically. Let's have a look. So, professional militia is good. Electric bureaucrats is really good. I'm thinking guaranteed liberties. Armed forces will hate us. Industrialists will love us. Intelligentsia will love us. And the petty bourgeois will love us. I mean... Do I risk the ire of the armed forces? I mean, I think so. That's never gone wrong in history, right? <laughs> that has never gone wrong in history. Okay. Siam has capitulated. Oh, and Changma. 
Now the war is with Bali and China. Uh, how long? 33 days. Now it's just up to Britain, really. I can't see us wanting to do anything about this. Like, set terms to white peace. We're still 45 away from a white peace. Yep. Yeah. 10% logging. Opium. I hope they start building up the opium. France capitulated, so we didn't get anything from that. Maybe I should have added something. Uh, why is it such... Oh, wait. They've capitulated. Wait. No. Uh, Great Britain does not agree to this peace deal. So they want that regime change. They really, really want that regime change. How are we doing over here? Oh, this isn't good. Not what we like to see. Looks like we're losing a naval battle. A lot of our troops have died in this naval engagement as well. Get away, boys. Get away. Let Britain deal with China. Britain really wants to take on Bali, huh? What a weird request as well. A regime change in Bali. Hmm. So we've got all these little three as our puppets now. Uh, oh, they have uh, plenty of opium. Three opium plantations. Okay, Akka has uh, capitulated over there. That's fine. <sighs> but damn Britain, come on. Just take the white piece now, bro. Uh, you getting Bali to, to change... <laughs> to change its regime is really not going to do much for your... For your goals in this region, bro. As if you only have 11. And you're down to 19 now, my friend. Well, let's try and navally invade uh, Bali anyway. <laughs> like, we can try. We can try. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe down below. It really does help the channel out. And hopefully, guys, I will see you again on the next episode where we'll end this war with China. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you soon.